Niersport is unusual in that it consists of two distinct sections separated by a flat plateau in the middle. It's named after the small range of mountains through which it traverses called the Niersperger. It's located on the N14, the national road which connects Johannesburg in the east with Springbok in the west. The road is in an excellent condition and should not present any problems provided that the speed limits are adhered to. The route between Kamus and Kakamas is incredibly scenic with spectacular contrast between the Kalahari Desert on the northern side of the road and the hundreds of green vineyards located all along the Orange River on the southern side. We filmed this pass from east to west. It starts off adjacent to a large lay-by on the right-hand side of the road, followed by a short straight and then by a minor bend to the left, after which the gradient kicks up and the road heads through a small cutting in between low copies on either side. The port is located just a few kilometers away from the Ohrabis Falls, one of the most well-known waterfalls in South Africa. It occurs in an area where the Orange River changes from a wide, slowly flowing river passing through sandy soils to what can become a raging torrent roaring through the ancient granite channels. The river passes through a sequence of rapids and cascades, then plunges into a large canyon after which it descends through a ravine to breach the main gorge. It's at this point where the primary waterfall is situated. During the rainy season, when the river does come down in flood, the falls can become an almost unbelievable spectacle, with the volume of water increasing to as much as 9,000 cubic meters per second. The average flow rate makes this the 16th largest waterfall in the world measured by volume. When flowing normally, the main falls have a height of 56 meters and an average width of 24 meters, but this can change dramatically when flooding occurs. A short straight leads into a 120 degree right hand bend, by far the sharpest corner of the entire pass. It's preceded by rumble strips. The road then straightens up once again, undulating gently through a long descent of 450 meters. From here you'll get a good view of the vineyards in the Lutzberg area, which is presented directly in front of you from this point. At the bottom of the descent, the gradient flattens out and curves through a gentle S-bend. The road first turning left and then right. One of the irrigation canals for which this area is so famous comes into view, paralleling the route on the left-hand side, and the dry arid landscape morphs almost magically into lush green pastures as it benefits from the life-giving water. The final section of the pass is a short straight which descends gradually towards the western end and occurs at the 6,7 km mark.